Best DSLR Camera 2020 Even with older, simpler DSLRs that don't have such sophisticated live view, AF, many photographers prefer the size, weight, and optical viewfinder of the digital SLR design. And for beginners, a starter level DSLR is still the cheapest way to get a camera with interchangeable lenses and a viewfinder. But what is the best DSLR to get? That'll depend on your budget, your experience, and what you want to shoot. Beginners will be looking for low cost camera that's easy to use. Enthusiasts will want a powerful all around camera that offer many of the tools of pro cameras but without the cost. While professional photographers will want image quality and features for sure, but durability and dependability too. Today, we'll tell you about the top 7 DSLR cameras of 2020. Before we start the countdown, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, press the bell button to get the latest updates. Check out Amazon links in the description for each product on the list, if you want to buy them. Without any further delay, let's start. In the list of best DSLR cameras, at number 7, we have the Nikon D3500. The Nikon D3500, back in 2018, and is an evolution of Nikon's best-selling line of digital cameras. We also rate it as one of the best Nikon cameras right now, as well as one of the best cameras for beginners. Novice photographers are often worried about DSLRs being complicated to use, but the Nikon D3500 has a brilliant guide shooting mode that acts as a fully interactive tutorial on photography, delivered via the rear LCD screen. The rear screen is fixed, and you're limited to full HD video rather than 4K but the 24 megapixel sensor delivers super sharp images and the retracting 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens is rather good too. The D3500 is small, light, cheap, and easy to use, all the qualities that will appeal to beginners. It might seem as if the camera technology is advancing at breakneck speed right now, but the D3500 has all the qualities we still look for in a beginner camera and we still haven't seen anything to touch it at this price. At number 6, we have the Canon EOS Rebel SLR3 slash EOS 250D. Canon does make a couple of cheaper DSLRs than this one, but we reckon they're a little cut down in features and build quality, and we'd recommend paying just a little bit extra for the EOS Rebel SL3 DSLR sold as the EOS 250D in Europe. Why? Because it has a very angle touchscreen on the back and a sensor with Canon's dual pixel CMOS AF technology. So the autofocus in live view is really snappy. We also love the fact that you can start from a simple guided user interface when you're still learning and then switch to the standard setup when you feel more confident and want more control. This is the best DSLR for beginners keen to learn and experiment with new techniques. It's also as good in live view mode as a mirrorless camera. We're looking forward to trying out the new EOS 850D, but for now, this is the entry-level Canon DSLR we'd recommend. And it's hard to imagine anything beating this more advanced beginner camera for features and value right now. At number 5, we have the Canon EOS 90D. This is the best Canon camera for enthusiasts, and it arrived with groundbreaking specs that no other camera in this category can match and could leave a few professional photographers and videographers taking a look too. The EOS 90D packs in an amazing 32.5 million pixels, the highest yet for an APS-C camera though don't expect to see any obvious and instant benefit in image quality. Instead, revel in this camera's 10 FPS continuous shooting capability and its uncropped 4K video capture, a consumer-level Canon that finally doesn't reduce the angle of view for 4K video. 
the extra megapixels do dent the EOS's 90D's high iOS low light performance. But this camera has so many capabilities and so much potential, we think it's a dazzlingly good all-arounder for enthusiasts who want to try every facet of photography. At number 4, we have the Nikon D7500. Nikon fans looking for an all-around equivalent to the do-it-all Canon EOS 90D should take a look at the Nikon D7500. Also designed for enthusiasts, it offers a slightly faster 8 FPS continuous shooting speed, a proven 51-point autofocus system, and the ability to capture 4K video. It has a tilting rear screen rather than the fully articulated design on the EOS 90D and relies on slower contrast AF in live view mode. But if you do most of your shooting through the viewfinder, these will be small points. The D7500 also has lower resolution, 20 megapixels versus 32.5 megapixels. But in real world shooting, its high performance sensor delivers images which are not far behind the definition offered by the Canon, despite the difference in megapixels. Nikon fans who like sports photography might also want to take a look at the Nikon D500. But this is a much more expensive camera, and it's growing harder to find. At number 3, we have the Nikon D780. The Nikon D780 takes on the sensor phase detection autofocus of Nikon's own mirrorless Z6 model to offer a DSLR with mirrorless camera live view performance. Brilliant! In fairness, Nikon has been a bit slow off the mark here, since Canon DSLRs have long used Canon's dual-pixel CMOS AF technology to do the same thing. Essentially, the D780 is like a modernized, supercharged version of Nikon's still popular D750 full-frame DSLR. The D780 doesn't just have advanced live view AF, it also comes with a high-resolution tilting touchscreen display, 4K UHD video, dual UHS-2 compatible memory card slots, and continuous shooting speeds up to 12 FPS in live view mode. Combine that with its solid design and comfortable grip, and you've got a camera that's an instant classic. The D780, like other Nikon DSLRs, combines well-thought-out design with solid build and very satisfying handling. At number 2, we have the Canon EOS 6D Mark II. We like the Nikon D780, but the EOS 6D Mark II has been around longer and has impressive features of its own. The 26 megapixel sensor is good rather than great, but it does have Canon's dual pixel CMOS AF system, so the live view autofocus is very fast and effective. The 45 point viewfinder AF system is pretty good too, although the focus points are all clustered towards the center of the screen. The EOS 6D Mark II can capture images at 6.5 FPS in burst mode with extremely useful very angle touchscreen display. It has been upstaged somewhat by the Canon EOS RP and Canon's other latest mirrorless models, but it's a solid buy that's cheaper than the Nikon D780 above and does have a fully articulating screen. At number 1, we have the Nikon D850. APS C format DSLRs offer the best compromise between features, quality, and price. But professionals will demand a step up in image quality, and that means a full-frame DSLR. The Nikon D850 is an expensive camera, though prices are falling, but its capabilities put it in a class of its own. Its 45.7 megapixel resolution is spectacular. It has a 153-point autofocus system and can capture images at 7 frames per second, or 9 FPS with the optional MB D18 battery grip. Amazing video features also make it one of the best 4K camera choices around, though the new Nikon D780 would be a better and cheaper choice for DSLR videographers. The Nikon D850 doesn't have the new Nikon D780's hybrid on-sensor autofocus technology, 
so its live view autofocus speeds are relatively pedestrian. But that scarcely puts a dent in the D850's all around appeal as arguably the best DSLR of all for professional photographers. It looked spectacular when it first came out in 2017, and it looks just as good today, but cheaper. That's all for today, folks. Tell us which one you like the most in the comment section, and don't forget to check out the Amazon links in the description. See you soon with another amazing video.